Hi everyone, this is Rob Roy and welcome to the LA Wave Options S&P 500 US market update. Hadn't made a recording in a few days because to be quite honest, hadn't been a whole lot to talk about. There is now. Let's take a look. Well, the market's moved to the upside today looking to try to break out of this consolidation we've been in over the last couple of weeks. I said in the intro there hasn't been a whole heck of a lot going on. Did have a little bit of a gap here, just a one point gap. And at the time of this recording, the futures are down four. So there's not a whole lot going on. One thing that did happen is that we filled uh, these two little gaps here uh, on the same day. On the 22nd, uh, we filled both of those. So it looks like the market is wanting to move up to that 61.8% Fib corrective level that we've been talking about for a very long time up at 293 which does keep that downward zigzag as a qualified pattern and no I'm not a fear monger or wishing for the markets to go to the downside I'm simply here to read the LA wave charts as I see them and share information with you that I feel is important regarding the markets and that's a qualified pattern so that's all there is to it. Looking at volume you can see that uh, volume has continued to uh, really uh, dry up as the markets move to the upside. Going through a sideways consolidation you would expect to be on lower volume but even on the move to the upside today you can see is the lowest volume we've had uh, in over a month. The market uh, volatility index, the VIX, uh, something important to point out here is this wave four has corrected now 72%, which means this entire five wave LA wave pattern now becomes disqualified. And when you have a five wave pattern become disqualified, what normally happens is you retrace the entire impulse, which means that on the VIX, we should move back down towards the 20 level. Question is, when will that occur? But it should work its way back down there at some point, which that would obviously be bullish for the markets. A couple of charts that I wanted to share with you uh, is this is a chart from the Federal Reserve and this is the credit spreads on uh, high yield bonds. And you can see that it uh, went skyrocketing when all hell was breaking loose in the markets which you'd expect and then the Federal Reserve came in and said hey we're going to buy high yield bonds and that pushed the uh, uh, spreads back down, condensed them or contracted them a little bit if you will. But now those credit spreads are starting to get a little dodgy again, as my uh, Aussie friends would like to say. And then we note here that uh, there is a gap, even gaps in credit spread charts. Amazing. So that's something to keep an eye on, at least. And then another thing that's interesting is this is an ETF that actually is long cyclicals, short defensives. So a security like that, you would feel doing well when the market's doing well or when the economy's doing well. And that's exactly uh, what was happening. At the height of the rally, this fund was greatly outperforming the S&P 500. But now that we've come down, even with the rally back to the upside, they're flipped. Now the S&P is outperforming this. So the point here being that uh, if this was an indicator of economic strength, it's not really showing a good strong economic rebound, at least not yet. So I think we still have to treat this bounce as suspect. How far it'll go, we'll see. We have that 61.8% level on the near term horizon, then it'll get interesting. Hope you're well. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Take care, everybody. If you like these recordings, I'd like to invite you to join our new Trade Finder Live, where each and every week we do a live webinar where we talk about the market, but we also go a little more in depth into the technical analysis system that we utilize to forecast where the market is likely going to go, and also to identify trading opportunities. Get your free subscription today. Take care, everybody.